Yo people, welcome back. Now, apologies for not dropping this earlier. I've been a bit busy. The way I record has to change a little bit and I've just been trying to get used to that. I do have more videos on the way. I'm having to record in grouped sessions, basically. And I've been a bit inactive, but let's be real. This episode really didn't do much. It pushed a lot of plot, but it didn't at the same time. It's weird to explain. Like, they spent so much time talking and talking, but it didn't feel really all that relevant compared to the previous episodes at least in the previous episodes they sprinkle some events or some information that kind of builds up the show and everything and brings the past into relevancy into the present here it felt more like they were speaking just to take up the time of the episode and then having said that they'll have these scenes that are like one minute two minutes of action and it pushes plot a lot more than all the speaking had previously done. And then on top of that, doing all these quick scenes, it feels like they missed out on a lot of opportunities to flesh out certain storylines because they've just spammed a quick scene that flies past the development. I don't know if people understand what I'm saying, or is it just me? But I think this is a big issue, as well as the pacing, it just... It feels all over the place. Another thing, it feels like they're just missing out on any interesting stories that they can push on. It feels like they're not going down that route and they pick something else, which is pretty frustrating as well. I'll be honest, I don't really know where this series is heading after this episode because there's a lot to flesh out, but it kind of doesn't matter anymore because they've just rushed it. There's three episodes left. Gravik is just kind of taking out his own people left, right and centre. But we didn't have enough time to care about those people that he's killing in the first place. I don't know if they wanted us to. Also, because the scrolls can shapeshift, nothing really feels like it's confirmed until it's fully confirmed. Like, if someone dies, you still hold out some optimism like, oh, they might come back because that's just what Marvel do. And they do this kind of storyline where, oh, it will be a shock return. But the way that Marvel's been doing it recently is so corny. And the way they handle things is just because they need to push a female character or... Nothing can really happen because if they get themselves into trouble, storyline-wise, they'll bail themselves out by bringing the person back. So they may be planning like a big shock return from the dead, but we're already expecting it because they do it all the time and it's pretty cringe at this point. And they don't do it in a good way. This episode kind of feels like they've wasted a lot of time, a lot of potential that I was talking about in my previous two reviews. Another thing to bear in mind, this whole Gravik killing everyone, like I get it, I understand, I like that he's more aggressive, he's not afraid to take out his own people, he's like a real villain, but they're just using this kill your own people because it gets a lot of heat and hate on the villain, which you're supposed to do, but they've done it like the cheap way, they haven't really explored as to why. And I, I think they're waiting for the Nick Fury encounter to do so. But it's already been three episodes and we don't really know his real intentions. He just wants to take over, destroy everything. And we're just supposed to believe that scrolls are on board with this because they're not humans. Like, we need more explanations. Also, another thing to bear in mind. We know that Nick Fury is going to be in that crap, the Marvel's movie that comes out in November. And he appears in space during the trailer. So again... That kind of takes away any momentum that this show has because we know that by the end of it, he will be up in space and probably this will never get mentioned again, unfortunately. It would be interesting if that Nick Fury we saw in the trailer was a scroll, but does Marvel have the balls to do that? I don't think so. But yeah, three episodes left and I think they took a storyline that was very complex and it could have been done very smartly and really fleshed out and explored. And now it just feels like they're rushing it, they're killing their own product and... I don't know, six episodes for anything, especially something as complex as scrolls, it just didn't look good from the get-go. If they had eight, ten episodes, I understand a bit more, but this, I just don't know where they're taking us, what pace they're taking us, like, what, what's happening? But yeah, there's not a lot more to say, like, things happened, and then do they have consequences, who knows, because they're just rushing past stuff, I, I really don't know, but shout out to everyone that made this far, I appreciate the support, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, I will be active again more frequently i've managed to fix up my schedule here and there but yeah hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i'll catch you in the next one